Singapore's commitment to climate change extends to greening data centres, which could be less of a key focus of discussions, especially at sustainability conferences. The need for such facilities in everyday digital life is growing, but so is their carbon footprint. Alif Amshad looks at the country's recent push to green these areas with additional reporting from Ilakia Salvaraji. As digital demands continue to grow, so does the need to store all that data. Despite being land scarce, there are over 70 data centres on this tiny island. Singapore's strategic location in Asia Pacific makes it an ideal location for data centres. So the country is a key destination for subsea cables, which are crucial for global internet connectivity. This enhances Singapore's role as a central node in the digital economy, offering a robust infrastructure and high-speed connectivity. Prof Lee adds that being close to business hubs in the region helps reduce the latency in data transmission. But having more of such centres spells more harm for Mother Nature. The country isn't only working to transform such facilities, it's being selective about building new ones. As many of you all know, data centres support our digital economy and that's, that's critical. We cannot do without them, but we need to make them greener. This includes the expectation for data centre operators to harness renewable energy sources or invest in innovative technologies to offset carbon emissions. Innovative cooling methods are also being explored. For example, a team at NTU is using a non-conductive liquid to spray cool CPUs. It says this could be scaled up to help cool data centres. So with this invention, there is no chiller bay cooling system required to cool the data centre. The only energy demanding uh, equipment would be the pump and the fan. So that result in 26% saving in the total energy consumption and also 26% in terms of carbon footprint. Last month, a data centre testbed was also unveiled. It promises to develop energy-efficient cooling technologies which are customised for tropical environments. These are all part of Singapore's commitments to combat climate change as it aims to achieve net zero emission by 2050.